I'm about to do the impossible. I'm about to rank every pro wrestling game ever. God help me. So over on Tier Maker, there's a list of 110 pro wrestling games, and somebody keeps asking me in my live chats if I'm going to review every wrestling game. One time I told him yes, just so he wouldn't bother me anymore, but he didn't forget about it, and he would donate money and be like, how's the list coming along? And I was like, damn, I'm really going to have to do this one day. And that day, folks, is today. Now we have the S tier, the A tier, B, C, D, F, and never played tier. There will not be gameplay footage on all of these games because no way so i will be jotting down some notes off screen here i'm not a nintendo youtuber let's get into the list so wcw versus the world is our first game and you know what this game doesn't get the respect it deserves you know it, it doesn't get the respect it deserves because this game did a lot of things now the roster wasn't great in it uh, you know there wasn't a lot of wcw guys the only nwo guy was hogan but this game was de being developed during that shift of wcw so you know, it wasn't really fair to, to judge the roster of the game because, you know, WCW was rapidly, rapidly changing as a promotion. You do have a great roster of wrestlers from like Japan and independent wrestlers under different names, such as like Bruiser Brody, Abdul the Butcher, Tenru, Inoki, Giant Baba, um, Sabu was in there. And of course, it was the debut of the Aki engine, which is now like the most timeless engine of all time so wcw versus the world gets a b from me I, I if it was a little bit more refined it would easily be an a tier or above but because it was sort of the primitive version of the rot of the engine i'm gonna go ahead and give that a b our next game is wwf warzone and i have a lot of memories about wwf warzone because myself and pecker dupree would play this on his playstation one quite a bit and the reason we played it on his playstation one was because if you beat like the you would create a wrestler and you would go through the the season mode and then when you beat it you can unlock the ability to create women's wrestlers and we wanted to create our girlfriends at the time in middle school the game itself, however, is terrible. The, the, the controls are terrible. The, the graphics are okay, but very not well animated. The cutscenes are the most interesting part of the game with Ahmed Johnson and his wonton beef stew. He didn't take his medication, Morty. I'm giving you a D. Like, you're just not good. You're, you're not good as a wrestling game, but there still can be a little fun to be had. TNA Impact Cross the Line. Never played it on the DS, but the DS version was actually the only version to feature Hulk Hogan in it. So, because Hogan invaded Impact, I, I wish he never did that. WWE 2K19, nothing really sticks out in my mind about it. Um, you know, it, it, it's an okay game, but no, nothing really sticks out in my mind about it. I'll just give it a C because nothing sticks out in my mind about it, but I have played it. Um, WCW NWO Thunder, you know, these games at the time were cool. It was this and Nitro. Nitro came out first, of course. Thunder came out second. Once again, on the PlayStation 1, you had these cutscenes that would play when you would pick the wrestler. But as a game, it stinks. I'm going to give it an F, honestly. Like, the roster is great, but the game is not a fun game to play. Now we're going to get into our first controversial pick of one of many controversial picks because there's going to be a lot of them showdown legends of wrestling now this game objectively speaking it's not good like it has a lot going for it great roster of classic legends you have tony shivani bobby the brain heenan post throat surgery so he sounds a little bit different a lot a bit different and larry zabisco on the call you have classic arenas msg boston garden all this sort of stuff but the the, the problem even the graphics i still think look good the graphics still hold up especially today i feel but the problem is the game wasn't completed and like it's glitchy it, it's buggy stuff happens that shouldn't happen you know the commentary gets very repetitive um, it, a, a, a lot of problems here, but I secretly love this game. It's not even really a secret. I think this game is super fun. I still play it quite a bit, probably more than anyone else in the world. I'm giving it a C. If you don't like it, I don't care. You are more than capable of going to tier maker and picking your own picks and making your own list. This is my ranking list. Nobody else has the cojones to do this except me. I don't know. Maybe there's other YouTubers who have done it. WWE All-Stars, people like this game. I don't really like it, bro. I'm going to keep it a buck. It's too over the top. 
like I like over the top stuff in wrestling, but this is like too over the top for me. It's it's just it's way too way, way too crazy. I, I feel like it's just way too crazy. I'll give it a C. No, I'm gonna give it a D. It's my list. I just I own this on the 3DS. I played it on the PlayStation 3 as well. I never really had fun with it. Road to WrestleMania 18 on the Game Boy Advance. Never played it. WWE 13 never played it wrestlemania 19 now this was the second game released on the gamecube this was during the time frame where gamecube had two wrestlemania games and day of reckoning games the playstation of course had the smackdown series and the xbox had the raw and then wrestlemania 21 game all of which we'll be covering in this video a decent game you know i remember buying it i remember having some fun with it they fixed some of the issues that wrestlemania 18 had but nothing, nothing too spectacular, but, you know, a decent enough game. WWF No Mercy. Like, what are we even doing here, bro? What are we even doing here? Like, this is GOAT tier. Like, this is S S tier gaming. There's a reason why people still play this game. There's a reason why people still hack this game. There is a reason why people still talk about this game. Because it is the ultimate refinement of the Aki engine. Running grapples, um, just it's, it's different game modes. Uh, create a wrestler that's still good today. You could you could ROM hack it, you could texture hack it with stuff like WWF Legends Challenge 64. S tier game. Anyone who says otherwise is a fool. Honestly, if somebody were to tell you that No Mercy was not a great wrestling game, they should probably be in jail. I'm just gonna keep it a buck. Like you should be in jail or in a mental ward. SmackDown vs. Raw 2006 is a B for me. I actually had a lot of fun playing this game. I think this game, you know what? You know what? We're giving it an A. I had a ton of fun playing this game. I felt like this was when the SmackDown vs. Raw series was kind of trying to figure out its groove, but like, I think they hit a high note with this game. I just remember the grappling was really good. The story modes were fun and creative. A really good SmackDown vs. Raw game and one of the fondest memories I have of playing games on the PS2. So I'm going to give that an A. This says AEW Elite Manager. I'm just going to say we're going to pretend that it's AEW Fight Forever. I like it, and I want to like it more, but it's just lacking, and it's still lacking. And now they're doing Season 2 stuff, and they're still charging people money. Like, you should be thankful that people are even still playing this game after the shoddy rollout of a lot of things. The game still has fundamental problems as well. That's not to say the game isn't fun, because I do think it's fun. But when I reviewed the game, I was under the impression that there would be constant updates for content and this, that, and the other without having to constantly spend money. And the fact that they constantly make you spend money is a bit ridiculous to me. So I'm going to give that a C. WCW Backstage Assault is an F. It's not a wrestling game. You don't wrestle in this game. You're just, you're dicking around and, you know, you're backstage. Like, how can you call it a wrestling game? Legends of WrestleMania WWE. This is going to be a controversial pick. And there's going to be lots of controversial picks on this list. And I don't care. Um, Legends of WrestleMania. Great roster. Fun modes. The relive mode. The recreate mode. Stuff like that. I wish the roster was a little bit beefier. What's here is good, but I feel like it could have been beefier. But the gameplay is where there's a lot of discourse. Is it good gameplay? Is it bad gameplay? It's very different. It's a very completely different engine that they were doing on the SmackDown vs. Raw series. It's B tier, though, folks. It's supposed to replicate the golden era of wrestling. And in the golden era of wrestling, you had more slow and plodding matches that had definitive moments within them. I think this game is super fun. Like, I wish they would make another one of these games. Build upon this engine. Have in more classic characters. Keep the same gameplay. Have more relive and rewrite moments. I think this game is awesome. I don't know why people hate this game so much, but I'm not one of those people. It is a solid B for me, a fun game that I still play today and I still revisit. Pretty much everything B and up, well, except with Showdown Legends of Wrestling being at a C, but B and up is stuff that I still will play today. And if it's if it's got the hallmark and the longevity of something like that, then, you know, that's all that really matters here. Um, Raw on the Xbox... That's tough. That's tough because graphically speaking, the game looked really good. They did some very different things in this game and then in subsequent Raw 2. But gameplay-wise, I did not like it. I don't think it plays very well. And really, that's the most important thing. You can get past visuals. You can get past rosters. You can get past all that stuff. But when the meat on the bones just isn't really that good and the gameplay isn't fun, then I don't know. I've, I've got to give it a D. 
Day of Reckoning, WWE Day of Reckoning. Um, this was the third game released on the GameCube. Solid game. Very solid game. I'll give it a C in the GameCube lineage because I feel like it's it's about a C. WWE 2K18. 2K18 on the Switch was the worst game that I've ever played. It didn't function. It didn't function. And the fact that they released a game on a platform that did not function properly... That's disgusting. You should be you should be ashamed of yourselves that you charge people sixty dollars for a game that you knew did not function. You knew this a hundred percent, a thousand percent. You knew this game did not function. F, 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 and there's an F for that too because you can go F yourself. Get the F out, bastard. Uh, WWE Survivor Series on the Game Boy Advance, a game that I never played. SmackDown versus or SmackDown Two. Now, this game is severely underrated. I think this game is super fun. SmackDown 1 was cool, but SmackDown 2 was so much better. Good roster. Um, the season mode was a lot better because you had stuff like backstage segments and stuff like that. This game felt a lot more alive than its predecessor did. And because of that, I will give this game a solid B. I think this game is still fun. I still revisit this game from time to time. And I think it's really good. I think this is Virtual Pro Wrestling 1 judging by the sticker on it so we're gonna say this is virtual pro wrestling one i mean s tier like uh, this it's stupid like pretty much if it's an n64 wrestling game that's with the aki engine it's an a or higher and it's virtual pro wrestling s tier uh smackdown versus raw 2010 I feel like I've played it, but I don't remember anything from it. So I'll say never played. Never played SmackDown vs. Raw 2009 on the DS. I don't know what this is. You put a white woman in there. You got a you got a good meme going here. God, can I say that? I feel like I can say that. But interesting looking game there. SmackDown vs. Raw 20, uh, 2008. Who says that? It's someone who's writing down a note off the side. But SmackDown vs. Raw 2008 is an underrated game. I'm going to tell you why. Because people like 07 and 06 better. That's fine. But 08, they had to do something different. They had to expand beyond their normal horizons of, of games because they had to introduce the ECW guys. You had Sabu, Sandman, Tommy Dreamer, Terry Funk in there. And Sabu has a very innovative moveset. This was the first game to allow players to do a triple jump moonsault or an air Sabu in it because they had to program those moves into the game. And it's super fun to do. I love the different styles that you have as well, like the brawler style, the technician style. I love the flaming tables in this game. I don't know why people don't like this game. It's an A for me. It's a game that I still revisit and play the PlayStation 3 version of. I have a lot of fun with it. SmackDown versus Raw 2007. I'll give it a B just because I don't remember much from it. You know, I don't, nothing really sticks out in my mind over 06 as far as playing. And I know people are going to get pissed off about it. I don't care. SmackDown won on the PlayStation. I'm going to keep it a buck. I wasn't a huge fan of this game. I was an N64 kid. That's what I was playing. That's what I was enjoying. And this game, you know, the gameplay was just, very fast paced and kind of chaotic. I'll give it a C. I do like SmackDown 2 much better than this game because I feel like they honed it in a little bit, made it more, you know, interesting. But I remember having SmackDown 1 because he had the, the, the theme song. SmackDown, shut your mouth. It's a good game. I think this game doesn't get the same sort of recognition that other games got. Am I thinking of the right game here? Let me see. Okay, no, I'm not. Where am I? No, Just Bring It is the one I don't like. Okay, SmackDown Shut Your Mouth is the is the predecessor to um, Here Comes the Pain. So we're you know what? We're just gonna skip around here. We'll do SmackDown Shut Your Mouth at a at a at a B, honestly, and then we'll do Here Comes the Pain. That's an that's an S tier. Get up there, get up there. S tier game. Just wow. You know they're both very similar games. Um. And, you know, a lot of stuff that was introduced in Shut Your Mouth was also in Here Comes the Pain, the backstage stuff, the crazy areas that you could fight in. But Here Comes the Pain just brought it to another level, and it's so much fun. It's still so much fun to play today. Great roster of people. 
great amount of characters and just really, really good stuff, man. A, a t absolutely timeless game and a game that I, I love to play. I still love to play it today. WrestleMania 18 was the first game on the GameCube, and it wasn't that good. It had a crappy, crappy, like, uh, nothing about it really screamed quality. It seemed like, you know, they were starting from the ground level with it. I don't necessarily think it's a D, but I think it's a C, and it's kind of a low C for me. Hardcore Revolution ECW. My God, this was so stupid. So both of these ECW games sucked. They took the added the Warzone Attitude Engine and just put in ECW guys and put in a couple different crappy gameplay modes, and it just was not fun. It was not fun. Both of those are going in the D category because they still are wrestling games. There was some cool matchups you can do, but just from a quality standpoint, they weren't good. All right, now we're going to rifle through some of these games because looking at this list, there's nothing I'm going to show you gameplay footage of because there's nothing that sticks out in my mind. Triple A Lucha Libre Wrestling was a reskin of TNA Impact, which we have not talked about yet, but it was essentially just a reskin, exact same engine. I'm, I'm sorry, just the lack of creativity, you're getting a D. Once again, this is the game where it looks like you throw in a white girl and she's in trouble because there's a lot of men surrounding her. Never played it. Backyard Wrestling sucks. The, the, the backyard wrestling games are not wrestling games. It says wrestling on, on the title, but they're they're essentially Power Stone-esque beat-em-up games. As, as, a, as a fun time waster, it's not terrible, but as a pro wrestling game, it is an F. Crush Hour, it, it's racing. Nobody wants to race around in a pro wrestling game. I'm sorry. If you do, go find another list. SmackDown vs. Raw 2011, I don't think I ever played it. King of the Coliseum 2, don't think I ever played it. WWE 12, don't think I ever played it. Giant Graham. Now, the Giant Graham series is very good. This was essentially done on the Naomi engine for the Sega, and this was released on the Sega Dreamcast. A fun game. I I've played it a bit, and I enjoyed what I played from it. There is a bit of a language barrier on it. Um, so I'm going to give it a C. There's also Giant Graham 2000 that will come across. Um, I'll probably give that one a B. I like that one a little bit more. But there is a bit of a language barrier, but, you know, it just is what it is. WWF In Your House. This is D tier. It's not good. Like, it's a crappy version of WrestleMania, the arcade game. And we'll get to WrestleMania, the arcade game somewhere on this list. But I, I just don't like the game. The roster wasn't that good. It was cool that it had Ultimate Warrior in it, I guess. You know, we're gonna mix things up here. I'm gonna I'm gonna skip around a little bit here. Fire Pro Returns on the PS2. Oh, you know where that's going, folks. S tier. Fire Pro Wrestling Returns. This is why it was S tier. This game was $20 when it came out. $20. And Fire Pro is a beloved franchise fire pro is a beloved franchise because it's that classic japanese wrestling style now that's not for everyone you can't really do like a squash match in this game which honestly kind of bothers me like if you have like a, a legends roster you make like a big roster you bought a, a what was the media manager the max media manager back in the day that would allow you to have save files for other stuff to play fire pro to have everyone translated and stuff like that and given their appropriate colors like you can't have a squash match in it because everyone has fighting spirit but i love this game i i played this game a ton i still play fire pro wrestling returns to this day so you know it's got to be it's got to be an s tier game because it's something that once again people just love the fire pro series and if you love the fire pro series this is probably the best entry I, I like fire pro on the ps4 I'm, I'm not sure if it's on this list but it's not as good as fire pro 2 because it has a smaller roster and yes you could download characters and stuff like that through their website but just a straight out of the box package fire pro wrestling returns s tier for me um royal rumble wwf royal rumble an arcade game that was brought home once again, it's a D. Like, it's not a very good wrestling game because it's an arcade game, and they definitely lean into the arcade style quite a bit with it. So, yeah, we'll, we're going to go ahead and put that in the D tier. King of the Ring came out on the NES F tier. Just terrible. It's not even It's not even really a wrestling game. Like, yes, it has a, a, a wrestling license, but it's, it's not good. That's the problem. It's not a good game. Steel Cage Challenge. 
What is this? Steel Cage Challenge on the Sega. All right, I'm going to put this in never played, but I don't think this is... It's not Rage in the Cage. Steel Cage Challenge. I never played it. I never played a good-looking roster there. I'm sure it's terrible, but a good-looking roster nonetheless. Um, Let's see. What do we have here? WWF Attitude. Much like WWF Warzone, this game had the terrible, terrible control scheme. However, however, I'm going to give this game a little bit of credit. Bigger roster, much bigger roster. You had um, more moves, more game types, more match types and stuff like that. A little bit better commentary as well. You know what? I'll give it a C. I think out of all the Acclaim wrestling games that came out during this time frame from Warzone, the ECW games, and Attitude. Attitude is definitely the best game, but that doesn't mean that it's a good game. It's still it's still a mediocre game to me. Uh, Power Move Pro Wrestling. Interesting game. This had a really fun act, um, engine to it as far as the wrestling is concerned. No sort of licensed wrestlers, very limited match types, and, you know, very limited roster as well. It's got to put it in a C. But I would put this in a higher C than something like Attitude or something, yeah, something like Attitude, I would say. I would say it's better than Attitude, so, you know, like a, like a mid to high C. WrestleMania the Arcade Game. This says PlayStation, but, you know, it could be for anything well, not the set, not the Super Nintendo version, because that was not um, a good game at all. It was missing characters, but everything else: Genesis, 32X, PlayStation. Um, fun game. You know, it, it's it's more of a fighting game with with a WWF license at the time, but the digitized graphics were very cool, and it was almost like a Mortal Kombat style game with wwe people like the undertaker literally had like a, almost a fatality finisher in it which i thought was really neat it, it, as a wrestling game i'll give it a c but for entertainment purposes i'll go ahead and say it would be like a b so let's take a look at our list here do a quick little recap we've got four in the s two in the a i honestly feel like the a tier is going to be the hardest tier although i can think of one game that will definitely be in that tier i think that's going to be a hard tier to crack um, the B tier, the C tier, a lot of stuff in the C, a lot of stuff in the never played. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you and act like I played something. F, I, I envision it getting bigger because I can already think of one game that's going in there. I don't know what this is. Looks like a, a Joshi Pro Wrestling game. There's Awesome Kong or Amazing, no, Asia Kong. What the hell am I saying? Asia Kong on the front. WWE 2K16, I did not play it. R Day of Reckoning 2 is the best GameCube wrestling game. I feel like they took what Day of Reckoning 1 did, you know, that engine. They wanted to do something interesting with it, and I think they managed to really hone it in. Really good roster, really decent season mode, you know, the single-player mode, good match types and stuff. Uh, I'll give it a B. You know, I think it's, it's definitely... A, a very solid engine that you can have a lot of fun with on there. So I think it's a it's an easy B tier. It, I would say this would be a B leaning towards an A instead of like the bottom of a B list. But I will put it at B just because A and up is sacred. All right. I haven't played Day of Reckoning 2 recently like I have some of these other games. So that's a bit of sacred seasoning there. Um, Royal Rumble. Here's a funny story about Royal Rumble. So WWF Royal Rumble comes out on the Sega Genesis. And um, I am infatuated with this game because it's pro wrestling. I actually can, can grab it and show it to you right here. Hey, how you doing? Um, but it was the soundtrack of the game. I used to sit there and just listen to the wrestlers theme songs because the wrestling action wasn't good. I'd play this game at my grandmother's house because we were about to move down south and we lived with my grandma for like 6 months and in the basement was a TV set up for me with my Sega Genesis, but I had to like look up to play it. So my neck was constantly up and I would play the game for so long that one day I woke up and I could not move my neck. It was like stuck. And I remember my dad had to bring me to urgent care and they had to give me like a neck brace and muscle relaxers. Like he thought I was just dicking around and like bullshitting, but like I tried to put a shirt on over my head and I could not do it. So yeah, th just a funny memory of it. As a wrestling game is concerned, it's not very good, but it's going in the sea because of nostalgia for me. This is my list. I don't care if you don't like my list. It's my list. 
WWF Betrayal is not a wrestling game. So it's an F by default. And I know what you're saying. Well, our, uh, WrestleMania, the arcade game, isn't a wrestling game. It's more of a wrestling game than Betrayal is. Betrayal is a beat em up designed by Way Forward. It's okay. It's kind of fun to play through, but it, it's not a wrestling game. I can't even tell what that is. Oh, I think this is this is what the SmackDown games were on the PlayStation 1 in Japan, which is kind of cool because I watched um, New Legacy do a video on this, and there's, like, concrete floor death matches and barbed wire death matches and stuff like that. I wish we would have gotten that stateside. Retromania Wrestling. Now, this one, obviously, I'm going to have a bias towards because I make a cameo in this game. But beyond that, I actually really enjoy this game. Um, as a huge fan of WrestleFest, which we will get to at some point on the list here, I think this game does a very good job of being like WrestleFest, just with a modern touch. Um, it's a little disappointing that some of the DLC still has not come out for this game yet. You know, it's a one-man team, pretty much over-promised a little bit on some of the things, I feel. But I still feel like it's a really fun game and a really good game. Still waiting on the physical edition as well. What's up with that limited run? Um, high C. I'll put it at a high C. You know, uh, I'd like to put it at a B, but I'll put it at a high C. Because I, I think, like, if nobody on the roster resonates with you... Like, you have to be a specific type of wrestling fan to enjoy this game. Because the roster probably isn't going to hit with you all that well. Maybe it will. And you also have to be a bit older and love stuff like WrestleFest, which paved the way for this game. So I'll give it a high C, you know, um, higher than something like Attitude or, or Power Move Pro or WrestleMania 18. I would say high C, you know, I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Um... Is this Giant Graham 2000? Let me scroll through here and see. Oh, no. Uh, I don't know what this is. I'm sorry. I'm not going to play it, though, if I don't know what it is. WCW Mayhem. A bit underrated, I feel. Now, this was the first game post-THQ WCW, and EA was actually handling this of all companies. So you would think, like, well, EA sucks. Like, what, what can they do? But I don't think this game is bad. It just lacked some sort of refinement. You know, it was a game that a good roster, you could go backstage, decent commentary. Um, gameplay wasn't terrible. You had all it had some wonky animations and stuff like that. I'll give it a solid C, you know, um, solid to low C on it. It was definitely an interesting blueprint. And I feel like if they could have done a WCW Mayhem 2, it would have done a lot for it. Rage in the Cage was essentially like the 16-bit wrestling games, but with FMV cutscenes uh, for like the finishing moves. Uh, nah. I didn't really play it all that much. I owned it. I played it a little bit, so I'm going to cheat and put it in the never played because I don't really feel like figuring out where I would put that. WCW NWO Revenge. Jesus Christ on a cracker, folks. What, what are we doing here? We already know where this is going. You know, you'd be hard-pressed to find a better wrestling game. But this is S-tier. All right. You have peak WCW. Peak NWO as far as size is concerned. Peak Goldberg. Peak Cruiserweights. Great, great gameplay. Beautiful visuals. Imagine if they would have made a sequel to this game. Imagine. You know what? It wouldn't have been as good. Because I feel like... I feel like this game was the right game at the right time you know what i'm saying awesome roster awesome move list awesome just feeling of wcw at its peak in my opinion you know obviously by the time the game came out there was starting to be a little bit of a decline here but bro you got hogan nash raven and goldberg on the cover of your game how are you not giving that an s tier bro you gotta be nuts you gotta be out your damn mind. Easy S tier game for me. And probably one of my favorite games of all time. WrestleMania 2000. I did not play this game nearly as much as I did other Aki Engine games. Like Virtual Pro Wrestling, No Mercy, and Revenge. So I'm gonna play it safe and give it an A. I still like the game, but I felt like the transition from from the WCW game to the um, WrestleMania 2000 game, it wasn't quite as smooth as a lot of people would have liked it to have been. Um, I still think it's a really good game, an easy A-tier game, but I wouldn't put it up there. I wouldn't put it up there in the S-tier. You know, 
maybe because it's nostalgia talking but even i guess just quality reasons why like i don't know it, it's a very good game don't get me wrong but like the wwf roster at that time i don't know it wasn't super great wwf raw on the sega genesis <laughs> it's a c like it's not a great game but once again you know nostalgia's talking to me i put it at a low c but like a, a decent roster the the new generation was in full swing here gone were a lot of the older wrestlers you had luna vachon in it which is the first time you could actually play as a women's wrestler in a wwf game which i mean shout out to girl power and stuff like that i'm not a hater of that or anything like that um, and you had super moves in this game that were just like over the top sort of finisher style moves and stuff that I feel like, you know, it was kind of fun. It was kind of fun figuring them out, especially if you did a super move and you didn't know how you did it, but it just happened because that was stuff of playgrounds. Like that was stuff that was like, you would say that at a playground, people were like that didn't happen. Be like, no, I swear to God it did. And then you eventually find out that the moves were real. So I'll put it at a C, you know, I think that's a pretty good spot for it. Here's some weird plug and play system. I never played it. Um, SmackDown versus Raw, the original. I remember liking this game, but it was a bit lacking. So I'm going to put it in a C. Nothing really sticks out in my mind about the game. But at the same time, it's like, you know, it was sort of that transitional period, you know, going away from the here comes the pain stuff. I don't think it was as good as here comes the pain. Definitely a lot of stuff was scaled back. The engine was a bit slower as here comes the pain as well. So I'll give it a C. Um, I never played SmackDown versus Raw on the DS. I'm sure I missed out on an amazing game. Uh, w or a Backyard Wrestling 2. It's not a wrestling game. These were not wrestling games. They said wrestling on them, but they were not wrestling games. Legends of Wrestling. I didn't... You know, we'll do we'll do Legends of Wrestling and Legends of Wrestling 2 together. Great roster. I hated the gameplay in this. And I hated the graphical style in it as well. Like, and it's so weird because, like, I don't know. I, I hated the graphical style. I hated the the gameplay in it. It just wasn't a fun game for me. And it should be because the rosters were super good. But I don't know. They just felt very sloppy. I'm not going to say, you know, they're still playable. So I'm not going to say that they're the worst thing ever you know they're not an f tier with with these piss poor games or something like that but they're definitely nothing above a d tier for me just i i never had fun with the games and if i don't have fun with the game it's like am i really you know why am i playing this um all japan pro wrestling featuring virtua actually a fun game i'm gonna give it a c bit of a language barrier kind of weird how there's virtual fighter um jeffrey and wolf from virtual fighter are in the game i actually made a video on this game a very long time ago here on the channel make sure you check it out um fun game you know fun game a little bit of a language barrier but not bad tna impact man a game with a, a, a tna impact is the perfect embodiment of tna as a company because you have all the potential in the world and it seems like you could do whatever you want and then you see this game you see the graphics you're like wow this looks really cool and then you play the game and you're like wow this isn't great like man the story's okay the story mode's okay it's a it's a it's a once a playthrough thing because it's actually like a narrative story oh i, I gotta get uh, i'll give it a c at the time it wasn't terrible and there was hopes of of them being able to build upon it but then they never did build upon it so it's like eh, you know i i can't i can't in good faith give it anything higher than a c just because like i don't know i, I don't feel like that would be like fair to do something like that um wcw nitro on the playstation i'll give it a d you know, it was the first time they did the digitized graphics and stuff like that. That was kind of a cool look. Um, you had the full motion video of the wrestlers talking to you. That was cool, too. The gameplay was terrible in it, but you also thought that they could improve upon it. You know, great roster, definitely a top tier roster, but eh, just the game is it's not a fun game. It's a little more fun than Thunder because Thunder came out later and shouldn't have even came out but yeah still not a great game here wrestling revolution and wrestling revolution 3d 
I think they're both C title games. Um, essentially the same game, just one is 3D. Uh, it's M. Dickey stuff, who's an independent wrestling creator. And you can have a lot of fun with them, but they are a little bit primitive around the edges. But don't worry, we'll get we'll give M. Dickey his due here in just a moment. SmackDown versus Raw 2009. I never played that one. I know it still had the ECW. I think that was the last game to feature the triple jump moonsault because I got rid of all of the ECW guys. I'm like, get, get out of my damn company. Galactic Wrestling, never played it. Wrestling Empire, you know what, M. Dickey, it's time to get your flowers, my friend. This is an A-tier game, and let me tell you why. It's not necessarily because of the wrestling, but the stuff that you could do in this game, you could play as a wrestler, you could play as a promoter, you're hiring people, you're firing people, you could do super exploding death matches with like 500 million pieces of dynamite. Like, there's just something so chaotic about it. It's a game that you could play endlessly. You know, it's it's a, you could, you can make any character you want you can play it endlessly. It never gets boring because it's always throwing another curveball at you. M. Dickey is a is the independent wrestling god when it comes to video games. He's just the freaking man, and I think he deserves a lot more praise than he gets. I made a video on Wrestling Empire on the Switch on the channel. It's a must-buy, dude. Like, buy that game. So let's do another quick recap here. So we are almost done with the list. We've got about mm, 20 or so games left left most some of which i haven't played so we'll be able to skip over them this is pretty much how i'm envisioning the list going i think i've been very fair with this list you know uh d's and c's you know there's a lot of mediocre wrestling games and there's nothing wrong with being mediocre but it's better to be at the cream of the crop so you know that's where i would like to be if i was a game but hey you know it's just my list at the end of the day all right folks we're on the home stretch here of Pro wrestling games. Like, I already see a couple games I'm going to be talking about a lot more than other games. WCW Super Brawl, it stinks. It's not good. Like, I never, I didn't play it all that much because I didn't have a Super Nintendo, but playing it as an adult or trying to play it as an adult, it stinks. The gameplay is terrible. WCW versus NWO World Tour is an easy A for me. World Tour was the game that broke open the Aki engine, I feel. Graphically speaking, yeah, you know, kind of a bit of a mixed bag as far as the wrestlers themselves looked. People like Hogan, I thought, looked great. And then people like Nash, it's like, who is this supposed to be? Scott Hall's Outsider's Edge was into a pin, which used to bother the hell out of me as a uh, kid playing the game. But it's still an awesome game. And, with, you know, you have classic people like Aki Man in it. Um, Black Ninja and stuff like that. You had uh, essentially a Muhammad Ali that you can unlock. Wrath you can unlock. Glacier you can unlock. A very fun game. One of my most played N64 games of all time. I love the cover of it too. You have the Giant and Hogan on the front. Just an awesome game, man. Awesome game. If the presentation was a little bit better, it could easily have been an S tier game. But because the presentation, I feel, holds it back just a smidge, we're going to put it at an A tier game. I don't know what this is. Oh, this is virtual. Is this virtual pro wrestling too? Oh man, we're we're getting heavy hitters back to back here because we're going straight to the top. Virtual pro wrestling two is a game that I've gotten into a lot more very recently because of the frame mod um, that I've covered on the channel. Make sure you guys check that out. This game is awesome. The MMA stuff in this game is awesome. Like, why did they not put that in the stateside versions? Of, of virtual pro wrestling which were the the aki engine games like that was super cool like you had a little glimpse of it with goldberg and his combo system who was like the only wrestler who had combos in the game give me the full bore thing man like give me the whole give me the whole enchilada with this game but virtual pro wrestling 2 is so awesome the free mode or the free mod on it it's so awesome but even without it like it's still an excellent excellent game easily an s tier game just because it's essentially two games in one with the um with the mma stuff thrown into it like minoru suzuki just like tapping dudes out like it's so, it's so awesome i love that game love that game 2K15. I actually own the collector's edition of this, the Hulkamania edition of it. It's okay. I'll give it a C. You know, it's not bad, but it wasn't a very memorable game for me as far as actually, you know, playing the game is concerned. 
So yeah, give it a solid C. You know, nothing, nothing terrible, but nothing great. SmackDown vs. Raw 2K14. I actually never played it. Smack, uh, I mean, SmackDown vs. Raw uh, WWE 2K14. Never played it. And then we have 2K20. 2K20 can burn in hell. Um, this is the worst wrestling game because you know what? It tries to be a real wrestling game. It tries to be something significant. It tries to, it tries to actually be great. And it's terrible. The story was terrible. The The gameplay was extremely glitchy. The DLC was so stupid. It's an F. It's an F. And because of this, they had to take years off. They were like, okay, we, can, we can't do a 2K21. You know, just a, a, a piss poor, terrible game. And it's a shame. It's a damn shame that we have two WWE 2K games in this F tier. Because these games should have been good. Like, you have all the power in the world. Like, just churning out these yearly entries was just such a problematic thing. WWE Battlegrounds. Much like All-Stars, I just didn't like it much. Like, it's okay. It's kind of fun, but it's not really a wrestling game. You know, it's a game that involves wrestlers. But there's no real meat on the bones with it and stuff like that. It's very over the top. Some of the stuff is pretty funny. You can have fun with it. Like some of these games in the D category, you can have fun with. But that doesn't mean that they're necessarily like great quality titles. I think there's a, a distinction that needs to be made there. Uh, the Engage game, never played it. With Authority, never played it. WrestleMania 21 is a D tier game. WrestleMania 21, released on the Xbox, had all the potential in the world redone visual system looked absolutely amazing and you played the game and you're like wow they really rushed this game <laughs> like it just was not a very good game um buggy glitchy lacking modes lacking fluidity in it as well still playable but it's definitely a d wwf road to wrestlemania road road to Bethlehemania. road to wrestlemania Game Boy Advance, it's never played. I didn't really, I didn't play many wrestling games on my Game Boy Advance for whatever reason. Super WrestleMania is a D. It's not good. Like, it, it's the precursor to the engine that we got with um, the uh, Royal Rumble and Raw games. But I don't know. It feels a little bit hokey around the edges. I know there's people that actually like that game a lot, but I'm not one of them. WrestleFest. Folks, if you have to ask... Where is RGT going to put WrestleFest? I feel like you're not subscribed. And you should be subscribed because you've watched this video for nearly 44 minutes now of me going through all of these wrestling games. Um, It's S tier. It's God tier. It's the greatest arcade game of all time. Greatest arcade game of all time. Huge character sprites. They have their official moves in it. You have a great roster, great animations, great music. You go outside the ring. This game was god tier at the arcade. I remember seeing it at Milford Amusement Center. It was this and X-Men. They were right next to each other. And I was like, kill me now because life can't get any better than this. And now, probably 30 plus years later, I have an X-Men arcade one up and i have a custom built wrestlefest arcade one up yeah where are you at now you high school dickheads who who said i wouldn't amount to nothing bro i'm living i'm living while you're probably working some crappy job that you hate and your wife's probably smells your kids probably hate you too who who won that round boys anyways wrestlefest god tier game absolutely amazing i could play it for hours and hours and never get bored Action Arcade Wrestling gets a C because Action Arcade Wrestling, the wrestling quality isn't all that great, but the customization you could do in this game is amazing. You can import like uh, mats, you can import wrestlers, all that sort of stuff. Somebody even made like an RGT85 arena in the game, which was one of the most downloaded arenas, which is absolutely insane. So shout outs to you. It's a fun game though. And I would like to see them release another one because I feel like they could potentially take this engine and build upon it because the physics engine in the game is pretty solid you could do some really cool stuff here and just the downloadable content and it makes it stick out you know more so than some other games that are out there so that's a high c for me definitely a high c teetering on the b with action arcade wrestling i don't know what this is fire pro i'll give this one a b i don't like this one as much the roster is so much smaller and i, I get it like, it has the New Japan guys in it. Like, that's cool. But, like, what's cool about Fire Pro is it has everyone in it. 
you know fire pro on ps2 has everyone in it this game just has a lot more of a limited roster and you could download people but it's very clunky you have to go through their website in order to do it and stuff like that it doesn't really feel like a proper evolution from fire pro returns on the playstation 2 it just feels like a slightly better looking game or something like that i don't know maybe i'm being a bit too harsh on fire pro returns but just for me it's kind of a bit of a mess just kind of a bit of a mess the gameplay is still a lot of fun but i would have preferred no new japan license and they just would have done what they always done with the with the wrestlers based on real wrestlers but just you know color coded differently and stuff like that rumble roses i i never played it i know it's a it's a horny boy wrestling game here giant gram 2000 like i said is going to be a b i definitely enjoyed this game felt like they were on to something really special really good roster pretty fun gameplay a bit of a language barrier but that was a really fun game but you know i don't know it's, it's tough with that language barrier to put it any higher than that i would honestly put this at a low b but i think it's it's a really good looking game especially on the dreamcast uh 2k22 you know what welcome back welcome back cotter uh 2k22 is going to be a b tier game because i feel like you know they they fixed a lot of the issues that they had it's still not perfect but like 2k23 isn't on this list and i would actually put that in the b tier as well um i've played that game a bunch on my xbox and my playstation 5 i picked it up so i could try it out on the portal um a really fun game you know the community creations are really well done somebody made me in 2k23 but you know there's still a few things kind of holding it back a little bit i feel but I, I feel like that was a return to form it was like okay now now we've you know it's not exactly completely different than 2k20 but it's different enough and it feels better and it plays better smackdown just bring it i'm also going to give that a b i feel like that's an underrated um precursor to here comes the pain and you know like people just for whatever wait, do i have that mixed up I feel like I have this and shut your mouth mixed up. I always get those two mixed up. Which one was the predecessor? Was this one because Hogan's? Yeah, no, no, no. This is this is the crappier one. That's a C. Just bring. Okay, okay, okay. I I've cleared it up. Just bring it is a C because they showed these awesome animations and the game looked nothing like it. So just bring it is a C. And you know it was their first game on the PlayStation Two, so I'll give them a little bit of wiggle room, but it's not a very good game don't know what it is like i've probably played some of these games if they're like fire pro games on like the snes and stuff like that why is why is virtual pro wrestling 2 on here again oh we got taken away what, the, what is that who took away virtual pro wrestling 2 maybe that's not virtual pro wrestling 2 then because that that is virtual pro wrestling 2 so i don't know what this is all right so you're getting you're getting put down here whatever because i've never played you Let's just go through that. I never played. Never played it. I, I don't. Oh, that was that crappy Fire Pro that they tried. Yeah, screw that game. Um, never played it. Never played. I need to get my Japanese games up a little bit. So now we've we've thinned out the herd a bit. We've thinned out the herd a bit. But WWE 2K17. It was kind of the start of the downfall. I feel. But I'll give it a C because it wasn't as bad as 18 and it wasn't as bad as 20. But it was it was kind of showing signs. The, the series was showing signs of wear around then. Hulk Hogan's main event. It's an F. I've never played it, but it's an F. Hogan, how could you betray me? How could you betray me with this? Raw 2 was a better version of Raw. So, you know, it wasn't it wasn't a terrible game. I don't feel it was a terrible game. The backstage stuff, the story mode stuff was pretty fun in it as well. Where did I put the original Raw? I put that at a D, so I will give Raw 2 a C. I think that's an easy C. The gameplay was much better. There was more backstage stuff. The story mode was kind of interesting, but once again, it just felt a little bit off in my opinion. And our final game, WWF WrestleMania. As a, as a kid, this was amazing this was amazing to me such a fun game you know cool music done by david wise from rare because rare like did the game um but god almighty it has nothing to do with wrestling it's a punch and kick game but the music is so good 
I'm gonna give it a D. I know, I know that's such bullshit because it doesn't deserve a D. But like nostalgia, nostalgia is king. Like there's just so many good songs. Like the intro song. <laughs> I don't care. It's my list. You go to hell. All right. So there we have it. I have ranked every single wrestling game at least every single wrestling game that's on this list granted the never played was kind of big but hey i'm not gonna lie to you and be like oh yeah, i've played this before or something like that if i've never played it i know there's like king of the coliseum games on ps2 and i never got around to playing those some of the japanese n64 wrestling games were made by hudson soft i never got around to playing those but that doesn't mean i'm not going to play these games you know the um the all-star game i've heard that's pretty good and stuff like that but i'm not going to sit here and act like i've played them if i haven't played them so that's just me being honest with you but i mean we got i mean there's a ton of games that got ranked here a ton of games that got ranked most of them with a story as well so i've done the impossible i've done the impossible this is gonna be one of the longest videos on the channel brett you have a great time editing this video buddy you're earning your paycheck this month but let me know how you feeling about my list where would you put your sort of stuff in there what are some of your favorite wrestling games or your most unfavorite wrestling games let me know in the comments section down below and as always guys thank you for checking out this video if you made it to the end you're 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 a real one bro you're a trooper you're the goat and i appreciate you so much and as always catch you guys on the next video later